Over the last few months I've seen a lot of posts with folks asking what poles people recommend to use as an everyday pole and why they use that and should this pole be better than that pole. So over the last 14 years I've had the opportunity to use quite a few different poles. So in today's video I'm going to show you why or tell you why I use the over 8 pole and I'm going to give you a brief history of the other poles that I've used over the years and why I don't use those anymore. So to start off with I'd just like to say that this isn't a sponsored video, uh, over 8 don't sponsor me, all the over 8 poles I've got I've bought so there's no bias there because of they're giving me this or that somebody's giving me that. This is totally my, my views. So to start off with I very first started with a 18 foot Harris decorators pole, an aluminium pole. I got this from B&Q um, and what I used to do when I first had these, I'd drill out the, the uh, top part, stick a gooseneck on it and actually make quite a good pole and it was £18, it was nothing for an 18 foot pole. But there were a, a few problems with these. The main problem with the clamps um, didn't take long and they started to wear and you'd get a bit of spin with them. The other problem with the clamps was because they're a twist clamp I find myself getting um, tennis elbow which is a, a twist injury apparently so that was uh, a problem I had with these so it wasn't long before I started looking for something different. The other thing with these is because they're aluminium and they weren't covered you'd get a lot of black on your hands, you'd come home from work and your hands would be absolutely filthy from the aluminium oxidising. But to start off with it was a fantastic pole, nice and light, 18 quid, even if the pole clamps were uh, wearing you could soon change them uh, for a completely new pole, it's more than you pay for a set of clamps. So that was my first pole. When I started getting longer work um, I actually started using some longer fiberglass poles. Now fiberglass was absolutely horrible to use. It was really floppy, uh, it was heavy. This is one that somebody's lent me just for the demonstration purposes for the video. Um, it was absolutely vile. I had an Ionics one and it was about that thick at the bottom and it really made your hands ache. It was horrible pole. So in my opinion the best thing to do with a fiberglass pole is chuck it away, waste of time get something better. So after I finished with the aluminium decorators pole and the fiberglass poles I got myself a CLX. So I, I thought I'd got a CLX in the shed but turns out I haven't so I will show you a picture of that but the CLX is a composite pole from Gardner, a uh, great little pole um, and it worked really well. Again a little bit heavier than the full carbon fibre and a little bit floppier. So I actually used those for quite a while um, while I was building up my round and it, they were great little poles but then I decided to treat myself and I went over to the SLX. Um, this is one of the extension sections for an SLX uh, 30. I bought two extension sections for an SLX 30 to make it up to a 40 foot pole as my work got higher longer. Uh, I got an SLX 18 which I used as my daily pole for ages and ages and they were absolutely fantastic poles. Great quality carbon uh, and nice and light, reasonably stiff, they were a really good pole. But with the problem with the uh, SLX was the clamps. Now what happens is they tend to wear where the clamp tightens up when it's fully closed and that was really starting to get on my nerves. Um, I carried on using this pole because this was my 40 foot SLX and I use that, I had it in the van for about 10 years so I, it wasn't so bad that I couldn't bear using it um, but it did get on my nerves, uh, I tried changing the clamps and different things um, but it was getting on my nerves so when Phantom brought out or Wonder Cleaning Warehouse brought out the Phantom pole uh, and they put on the clamps made by Exceed Innovations who make the Univalve and this was really a step forward in clamps as far as I'm concerned. Uh, inside the clamp on this pole there's a little rubber insert so that wears rather than the pole wearing. So even when the pole's really old you still don't get the spin so much. Um, I used this pole for a couple of years uh, and really liked the pole, it was a great pole. With regard to the carbon, the pole itself was very similar to the SLX with the feel and how stiff it was but the clamps in my opinion were far superior. 
So that's why I went over to the Phantom. But again, there was a problem. Now, I started getting pains in my hands. Uh, I don't know whether it was a bit of arthritis or a bit of repetitive strain. As we get older, we all start aching a bit more. So that was really starting to ache. So I then went on to the over eight. I'd been waiting for quite a while for, um, I've been thinking about getting a high mod pole and eventually over eight brought out the 22 foot high mod. So I went for that straight away. And as you can see, completely worn off. It's my everyday pole now and I absolutely love it. Because of the shape of it, even with a swivel, which I think is the reason that the round poles are harder to use, you have to grip the pole tighter when you've got a swivel on it to stop the pole from spinning in your hand. But with the over eight, you've got the two flat sections on the sides. So that really sits in your hand nicely, uh, really ergonomic shape. And I found once I started using the over eight, I've stopped getting those pains in my hands. Um, the other advantage of it is um, because of the oval shape, even if they're loose, the pole won't spin. Uh, and it's just, in my opinion, it's a fantastic pole. Really love this pole. I've been using this one for probably 18 months now. Never had any problems with it. Being the high mod, it's nice and light, and it's also fairly rigid. So absolutely brilliant pole, which I love, and I would recommend to anybody. In fact, I liked it so much, when the lad that worked with me needed a new pole, um, and I wanted one for the van, I got the high, the over eight 22 foot standard as well. Now there's a lot, a lot of weight difference between these. Um, when you pick them up, you do notice it very slightly, but not a lot, but it's by the end of the day that you notice if you've been using the standard compared to the high mod. Uh, then I decided that I was gonna go completely over to over eight. So I eventually hung up my uh, Gardner 40 foot pole, my SLX, uh, and I got myself a over eight 40 foot pole, which again, love this pole, brilliant pole. Now, a lot of people say that they found with the higher or the taller uh, over eight poles is you've got a bit more, they're not as rigid from side to side. Going forward and backwards, they're very rigid because of the shape of the, uh, the pole but side to side they're not as rigid but in my opinion when you're up at 40 foot you're better off using your body and pushing forward and backwards rather than going from side to side up at 40 foot a little movement is a lot of movement at the top side to side and you easily bang the frames and the, the window sills and all around going from side to side so i don't find it a massive problem having a slight bit more movement side to side um, because the shape of the pole and the rigidity going for upwards and forwards and backwards outweigh it to me. If you would like to get yourself an over eight pole, um, I've arranged with Ziggy from Streamline. If you give them a ring, ask to speak to Ziggy. You'll only get it if you speak to Ziggy, but ask to speak to Ziggy. Uh, say Squeaky Clean Dave sent you and he should be able to sort you out a discount on an over eight pole. Uh, one other pole I've got here, this was actually sent to me by Ionix. Uh, this is the Hydra pole. Uh, not a bad pole at all, but the thing that I didn't like about this pole was their design for the brushes. Unfortunately, they made it so you could only put their brushes on or their spray nozzle. Uh, that was the only one that would go on it. Uh, and I do tend to like uh, Gardner brushes. Even though I'm using the uh, over eight poles, I still use Gardner brushes on them all. So I hope that's helped you a little bit, um, giving you a bit of an idea of what poles I've used and why I've used them. And uh, yeah, it just helped you, so you don't have to try every pole there is, uh, just to try a few other things. So if there's anything else that you've tried, maybe the uh, the one from X-Line, I think, it, and the there's the new one from Unger, I think it's called the N-Lite, which is also an oval pole. Let me know in the comments how you got on with them. And uh, I hope this has helped, so thanks for watching. Bye for now.